have been using the Ezyn by iLife G50 cordless stick vacuum cleaner for actually a couple of weeks now. I've sort of forgotten to do this as an update video. Bless it. So let's film it now where we'll see how it's coped. I haven't emptied it for a very long time. So that will be good to see. See where things have perhaps not been quite so great and I shall chuck in a load of b-roll from the bits and bobs that we've been using it with. So let's see how this, although gifted to me, still very reasonably priced, very good priced cleaner for a certain situation, a terrible cleaner for another. Let's see how it's held up. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, I have been using this quite a lot, actually. I have made sure that I've picked it up and given it a good use wherever it's been. And it's been pretty nice, really. It's still got still got OK suction on the back setting. If you noticed, I went straight to back there. Didn't go to the intermediate setting. Yes, Felix. And although that the intermediate setting is quite good, I don't know, the switch makes it very easy to go to full. And full does give you more cleaning performance, I'll be honest. Bless its little heart. So, let us turn the locking ring. Remove the filter. And the filter is absolutely spotless. I have emptied this quite a lot, really. I've let it build up since we did a big furniture move. And, yeah... Despite, um, I'll put that up on the screen now, despite the furniture move yielding a lot of dust, a lot of dust, dirt, big chunky things that have been hidden under the back of the TV unit that hasn't been moved, it picked them up absolutely fine. And yeah, that is the state of the filter from that. So that's good. So let us empty it. We'll empty it down here. And yeah, okay, got to pull that and does seem to have all got bummed up in the front, which is a little bit of an annoyance. Ooh. So, we'll have to do that. I don't know, again, it's quite big, chunky stuff that I've been picking up. So, but even that's what I need to stick back to do. That's why, you know, the pneumatic MBV has been pretty solid throughout all of this. All I was a little bit interested in is to see how this has fared. And it's actually pretty clean. Oh, there's a few bits and bobs on it. Some of the fluff has got caught in there, but equally you'd see that before it really built up and be able to deal with it. And it probably wouldn't be much of a problem. Again, I make sure that I push this through some really hefty dirt in order to give it a fair comparison. Or a fair look, anyway. Now, I don't think this bin actually comes off. It looks plastic welded on. So you have to go in there with a little cloth and clean it out. But yeah, you can see where it all comes in. And it's caught up everywhere. But it's okay. You won't do it normally. It'll be all right. So let's give this bit a clean up and then we'll move on. Because the inside of the bin is a little bit grubby, we shall just get a slightly damp cloth and give it a good wipe out. There's good access to do this. I'd say that is reasonable enough. And then we can put our inner shroud back, if I can remember where the locating tabs locate. Clip that down, pop the filter back in, do the locking ring back on, and that is our iLife G50 serviced once more. Do that every couple of empties and it will last 
quite a long time, really. Let's get on to the floor head. The one you can see, it's got a little bit scuffed up, where it has been pushed down the side of things. Same as all the other coatings of all the other ones and all the other cleaners do. So nothing too bad there. On to the polarising floor head, which is still pretty terrible on carpet, but pretty awesome on hard floor. And it took an absolute pasting. Look at the state of that. Again, that's partly my fault. I think I've been using it a little bit too soon after using my Tinko Floor 1 S3. So, yeah, possibly my fault there. Ew. But, yeah, it's, you know, I've been just taking the brush roll out just now like that. And again, you can take your damp cloth and look at that. It just comes straight off. There's lots of access to do everything including the nice cool window which is lovely because on other corner stick vacs you can't get near it and um, hey people want to clean their cleaners and yeah that's acceptable enough there we go again do that every once in a while it'll never get filthy again the brush roll has a little bit of something wrapped around the end but that's not too bad at all again plenty of access to chop through all the hair like so. Pop that back on. Yeah, lovely. The side brush is looking a little bit, not 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 tatty I suppose, but tired <laughs> already. Although it is good fun to run it on the side of my laminate. I have the yeah, little trim strip and this gets in the gap between that and the floor and pulls, pushes no end of rubbish out. It's really quite addictive to do and um, yeah really quite nice let's clean this mess up with our vacuum cleaner because why not if we can do it here look i don't even have to reframe the shot if we don't use the extension tube and we don't really need to so i've been using it just straight on high so we'll do that Actually, pushing the front down there like that, you can tell that yeah, you know, when you're holding it, and when, when you're also pushing down. I mean, I haven't got the wand on, so I suppose we should put it on to make this a little bit more realistic. But you're still pushing down. Yeah, you are still pushing down onto the back here, and you can push the front down quite a lot. And I'm wondering if you know, as soon as you put some weight on there, it does actually make it. A fair bit better but yeah carpets are not its strong point I mean it doesn't really say anywhere that it's you know better for anything so I guess you need to take that as it comes but yeah I would not recommend this for anything with carpets however where I would recommend it is if you have just hard floor Because on hard floor, this thing is just absolutely amazing. It is really decently priced to be able to you know, afford to have it just for your hard floors. That is one of the problems with cleaners like this. Obviously, yeah, you need to think of the cost. And yeah, I've used it a lot on just a hard floor, to be honest, and used something else on the carpets. And it's absolutely brilliant. The big wide head, which does let it down a little bit, on the carpet, oh, there's a bit of me stuck in there, just gulps everything up. And yeah, it, it really isn't too bad. A little bit just drop out though, I've noticed. But overall, yes, for the 
for the money that I have seen these retail at, and you know, the money that they are, on the Amazon link below, which is not an affiliated link, I don't make money from doing these things, I just show you them, and we can form our own opinions, my opinion of this is, yeah, if you've got just hard floor, you could not go too far wrong, with an e by iLife, G50 vacuum cleaner. The filters stay clean. The little cyclone assembly is actually pretty flipping cool. It seems to do an all right job, I guess. You know, if, if we will use it for flour or plaster dust or etc. But you shouldn't use any bagless vacuum cleaner for those, really. It's very light in the hand. It's just incredibly good all round. So, yeah, there we go, really. Thank you very much. Design for sending me this to view and show the viewers. And yeah, it's very good, just possibly not for carpets. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, fine bird. And I will see you soon.